probably be the only ones that might have an idea. Alright, ready to go. Okay. Uh, it would be... Hello. Hey! Hi. Hi. How's it going, Justin? It has been a long day of traveling. <laughs> and I'm sorry the Wi-Fi sucked or I would have joined a long time ago, but it wouldn't let me join Discord. That's okay. We we managed to side quest long enough for the big event. <laughs> yep. We were just talking to a crazy guy. A doomsayer. Crazy, crazy. Apparently the world is going to end. <laughs> I mean, doesn't that happen all the time, though? See, that's what I said. <laughs> <laughs> when is it not? We just figured we'd stop by and, and see, like, what, what kind, of, what flavor of apocalypse he was, <laughs> he was peddling. Yeah. Apparently, it's um the the beast below is is gonna start some shit according to him. The beast below. I think we. You know that. Mm -hmm. Of course, his source is Cthulhu. So. Uh, this this fun. Oh sure. I thought we killed that. No, we defeated it. We didn't kill it. Oh. Okay. I don't think. I think it would be very difficult to kill something like that. Realistically, you probably presume that the beast below that you guys killed was probably actually one of the spawns of it. Oh. Oh, so like, uh, Papa maybe. Beast is... Yep. Maybe. It's entirely possible. Because if you're thinking as, like, beings that live for an infinite amount of time in, in pretty much all time periods, it's definitely possible. Could be bigger than the one we fought. But, on that fun note, since you guys are all here, which is awesome, would you guys like to travel to Alicor, the deserts of Alicor? Yes, yeah, I suppose that. Fuck up some zombies. Okay, so, you guys travel back to Leoville. Uh, short hop, skip, and a jump. Well, okay, Kenneth's not doing any of those things. She's standing there and yeah. teleporting you guys. <laughs> <laughs> I, I walk slowly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so you guys um, walk onto the platform, which is essentially, um, it's actually like a giant, like, hexagon kind of thing that has some small pillars on kind of like each of the little corners. Um, I'm just going to actually just do this right now just to save some time so I can bring you guys over here. Uh, why don't you guys roll this shit for me? <laughs> oh boy. We're so are we at the thing? Here to your teleporting. Okay. Uh, it's, just, it's just easier to bring you guys over so you guys can see what the dais looks like. So, did we pick which place we went to? You did not. <laughs> okay. I'll just draw this. Oh, I rolled pretty good. I got a 23. Do you guys have a preference of which one you went to? Anyone? Um, I was thinking the one, uh, so, because, Jacobs, you can, you can summon the drug pool in water, right, and it can fly? Yes. So, cool. we, if, if we teleported to the one by the ocean... That uh, pool can not fly over land, it has to fly over water. Oh, okay. It, it is still a boat. Um, yeah, so we would have to go around if we were going to go on the drive. That would still probably be faster, though, right? Uh, Although, depending on what you guys are trying to learn. Like okay, so here, let me bring. I mean, I'm thinking we go. We're going into to Alicor itself, right? Just you to... can't get in. You can, you cannot get into Alicor right now. <laughs> that's a, yeah. that's a closed border shit. Yeah. yeah, I mean they're being in siege, right? Yeah, they have it encircled. So your options are to basically go to the city here and travel this direction and see what's going on, or if you travel to the plateau up here, you have an overlook of the desert. So you could see on a grander scale what's going on. Okay. 
but it's yeah, whatever you guys want. If you guys want, if you guys want to sail around, you absolutely can. Uh, you guys will definitely get attacked, and you guys will be doing a sea battle if you want. But <laughs> we have the god of the sea and luck on our side. I'm not worried about sea battle. <laughs> 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 oh, better yet, swimming. <laughs> I can swim forever. As a vampire, I do not like water. <laughs> <laughs> so what would you guys like? Uh, yeah, I mean, at the moment, I'm just kind of uh, going where Kenna leads. This is still your expertise. I'll be, I'll be transportation. Just point me in the direction. What kind of impassable is around Alicor? Do, I don't know, do we know, or...? You have, no, you have zero knowledge of what's in this area. Yeah, sure. so, I mean, like, I'm thinking we should go to the city, because mostly, if there's something happening, it's going to be happening around there. No, I mean, like, this right here is, like... That's 350 miles away. Right. Whereas, like, this is roughly 60 miles away. Oh yeah, to to the like the pink area, I guess. Yeah. yeah. I guess we could just go to this mountain and just like see stuff and then figure out what we want to do from there. That's what I thought you were talking about doing in the first place. That's why I assumed you're going there. Yeah. We can, I mean, because we can just like go between these points, right? If we're on one of the points. Yep. So we could just like go to this one and do something else if that was the situation. Precisely. So, yeah, sure. Let's go to the big mountain, unless yep. anyone has any other ideas. Nope. Big. Sounds good to me. Big mountain. Alright, so, initiate. Your brain out. <laughs> so, that is an initiative roll, so. You can so keep 23 your. 23 for me. 13. Yeah, sorry, I thought you guys already mentioned this one. I, so, that was my bad for jumping the gun. Oh man, rocks rolling high. Got a nine. Oh my, with advantage. With advantage, I got. That's a nine. impressive. Oh, you roll. I get to roll advantage on initiative. No. Uh, oh, barbarian. No, no, stuff. Barbarian. Oh, okay. I thought like for some reason, just because you knew about it, I thought like it was everybody. Kevin knows everything. everything. I do know everything, right. actually. I got. Oh no, not everything, but most things. <laughs> Here's his third. I got a twenty-two. I rolled a three. I got a, yeah, 22 for Jacobs. Wait, you got a 22? For initiative? Yeah. Yeah. I beat you. Wow. <laughs> Get ready. There you go. I rolled a 3. I rolled a, I rolled a 19. There you go. Well, it, it actually does make sense because, so, like, as you are teleporting, you sense Holy that you belong, like, the moment you appear. So you're just, like, on edge. Yeah. Because you are surrounded by assholes. Ah, uh, well. Um, <laughs> I mean, what else is new? Yeah. Um, so the. Oh, actually, I should have done this differently. Hold on one second. Yeah. I need to fix this. So, to make it work, you have to download a couple of files. So, I'm mm. free to download and then upload them to the app. And I can tell you what I got on my favorite download. That's a better way to reveal it. Ah, um, yes. Uh, so outside of that visual area, um, it's a sandstorm, essentially. So you can't really see past that point. Uh, and it's not like... It's not like you can't see past that point because, like, you know, it's dusty here and then it gets there. It's like once you get to hit to get to that area, there's like a wall of sand essentially blowing around that area. Because around this dais, it is protected. So, um, why don't we start off with Kenna? Because Kenna rolled stupidly high for Kenna. Yeah, I was gonna. For me. Who are these assholes? Uh, so they are skeleton guys. And let me just, uh, I'll just, I have a, um, A picture of them here. So that's what they look like. 
skeleton dudes. Yep. Do they look aggressive? I assume oh, yeah, they yeah. look aggressive. If you're, they're like running towards the dais. Okay. Sure. Um. Well, I guess I will. Uh. I'll cast Sunbeam. Um. Which is gonna be. A. 60 foot line. I mean, I'll just hit this guy. Because, you know, fuck that guy in particular. One second here. I just gotta. Controlling for this. Cool. Alright, which one are you nuking? Uh, this guy down here. He's the lucky winner. Okay. Uh, how wide is it? It's a five foot wide, sixty foot long line. Okay, so I gotta. Oh, brilliant energy. I'm just double checking distance wise. Okay. All right. Just to make a DC <laughs> twenty uh, five Constitution save with disadvantage. Okay, I was gonna say he re actually rolled really fucking high, so that's actually oh no wait no he can't. No, okay, he's assuming that he's an undead. Yeah, yeah, he is, and uh, I guess he doesn't have a bonus to that, so no, oh. not really. Anyways, not enough to matter. So yeah, does he take a bajillion points of damage? He takes twenty four points of radiant damage, and he's blinded until the end of my next turn. Nice. Uh, and yep. that light uh, persists in my hand, and uh, there's a 30-foot radius of daylight around me now. You said 20 points of damage? 24 points of radiant damage. All right. Uh, yeah, that, he, he does not look good. He d <laughs> that, that did not make him feel happy about himself. Actually, wait. Nope, that's enough to poof him. Oh, got Sh shot him with my Iron Man laser. Radiant makes a difference. <laughs> I want everyone to one shot these things now. <laughs> kind of set the standard. Alright, so like, you guys it's appear, and, like, before you guys even like blink, Kenna is like shooting laser beams. <laughs> guys, where'd you bring us? <laughs> we are at the correct destination. Oh, are we at the correct destination? You are at the correct destination. Uh, so, like I said, the the dais is always a protected area, but it doesn't stop things from encroaching <laughs> on the space. This thing's usually pretty good about um, the area around here is just basically desert, so somebody has to know this exists to set some kind of ambush like this. It seems our arrival point is perilous. Um, it is still your turn, so either souls can go or... Um, so we didn't, we didn't will... know it would be full of peril. I considered the possibility. I don't. I, this is why I'm not surprised. Uh, Stolas is not going to do anything this round. He's just going to suss things out. These, <laughs> these enemies are not worthy of his ire. I just friend you. <laughs> All right, so Jacob, you're up. And that's Kenneth's going to move. No, nope, I like where I am. Yeah, I was like, it doesn't get much better. Yep, surrounded by allies. All right, goddamn friggin' friggin' cock sucking skeleton friggin' cock sucking. All right, I cut one in half and shoot the other one. <laughs> All right, so go ahead and attack. Uh, boy, thirty-one. Thirty-one. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you, you cut it very good, so... <laughs> you sure like, do hit. It doesn't even, you hit it so spurgily that it doesn't even, like, try to block it. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. So, hold on, math. Yep, you cut them in half. Alright. <laughs> uh, shoot the other one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh no, only for 22. Yeah, you shoot him right in the face. <laughs> Alright. It's necrotic damage, so do I roll oh. that? No, he's immune to necrotic. 
I figured I should have done the fire beam. Oh, no, nope, nope. he's actually only resistant to it. Okay. So, half damage. Oh, and the 12 is garbage. So, okay. Uh, so, seven, so. So, three necro, that's, that's halved. And then only one fucking 14 gun damage. So, so 16 total. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Well, he, like, I still just, he, shot one. He, like, blows off his jaw and, like, part of his neck, and his head's just kind of dangling weird on it now. <laughs> Any of you other gross fuckers want this shit? Go see Rock about it. <laughs> <laughs> right, anything else? Nope. All right. That brings it to me. All right. So, suddenly you guys feel the ground kind of be shaky. Rumble, rumble, rumble. Um, yeah, something from the northeast kind of begins to show up. A war sphinx. And it pounces right onto here. That's pretty cool. Uh, so it has the agility of like a very large cat, essentially. I'm going to move it up just so I can see who I'll hit here. Uh, right there. Hit all three of you. Um, what the so, is that? Why don't you guys give me a dexterity saving throw? To avoid being jumped on by this um, 18 foot tall sphinx type cat. Uh, <laughs> I don't know about that. Use the cup this time. Yeah, it's gonna be a, a 14 for me. Not quite enough. Should Solus roll too, since he's like on my shoulder? Uh, no, but, uh, no. I'll let him pass from it. Okay. I, I imagine that, like, if you were to get crushed underneath this thing, he'd probably be somewhat relieved from the crushing. Yeah, he's, he's nimble, skittering around. Uh, you're good. Uh, what'd you get, uh, Jacobs? Or rock. Rock had a twenty. Okay, so you guys are good, but Kenna is not. Um, so you guys take what is that? 15, 17 damage. Rock and Pierce, seventeen bludgeoning damage. It is just standard, not magical or anything. Um, however, Kenna, you take thirty-four damage. Ow. And you're not prone. Okay. And then this thing. Um, I'm gonna reaction to to phase shift. Oh, just leave. Too <laughs> much. <laughs> Poof. Uh, I believe we determined that if Solus is with me, he he comes with automatically. Yep. Yep. Okay. yep. So we poof. Especially once we modified the power a little bit. Yeah. Right. Changed it. Um, so yeah, that's a hell no. <laughs> he just sits on me, and I vanish. Good. I pop. Like, you definitely see it looking around like, hey, I know there's something here. <laughs> like, confused. For a second. Uh, that's its turn. Uh, that brings it to the Tomb Guard's turn. Uh, so this one's gonna run over and try and shank Jacobs. <laughs> uh, I really wish my dex was higher. Because I'd say, the hell he does, but he most likely will. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so he's got his spear. Uh, 19. Hey, the hell he does! <laughs> <laughs> I parry yeah. that shit with my blade. <laughs> He's like, mm. yeah. he, he doesn't make any actual reactions. Oh yeah, he actually gets another attack. Get the shit. Uh, oh yeah, so like, he like reaches, he, try, he just basically tries to stab you again, but nothing fancy. That misses. Aha! Fuck. <laughs> Aptly said. Yes. This one's gonna run over here and poke you with this stick as well. Cause reach is a thing. That misses. Yeah, he also misses. <clears throat> They're not the best at their job, apparently. <laughs> this guy's gonna run over and stab uh, Rock. They blame them. Does a six hit rock. Not even close. 
Oh, hey, actually, uh, does a 22 hit rock? No, it does not. Yeah. Okay. These guys <laughs> don't stand much of a chance against you. <laughs> um, so, he did nothing. This guy's gonna run over and try and shank Pierce, though. Okay. Someone get... Nat 20. <laughs> oh. oh, no. This yeah. guy's the boss. Just look. <laughs> oh, man, I miss having you in my games. <laughs> a free crit target. Roll the one. Gets hit by a 20. Yeah, I just want to point out that between the other attacks, I rolled two ones. And a three. I the punching bags here. Okay. The numbers game. I always uh, the bad. So you take, uh... <laughs> oh, that's a wrong die. Seven. Slashing damage, or piercing damage, sorry. Eh, Pierce took piercing damage. <laughs> Alright, and an attack. Misses. Aha! Uh -huh. I was ready after the first one. <laughs> no, you're still reeling from the first one. <laughs> oh, it twitched out of the way a little bit. Alright, now the second one's gonna run up and try and shank you. Uh, that is a 19? Yes. Yeah. 19 uh, hits you? 12 damage. What kind of vampire He's are you? He's a spellcaster. <laughs> I, I, was, I didn't maybe. say what kind of spellcaster are you. I said what kind of vampire are you. <laughs> a great one. The king of them. Well, all right. It seems that you're a spellcaster first and a vampire second. You got my priorities. Uh, 19 again to hit you. Yeah. All right, so 11 damage. Okay. Uh... Oh, there's this one too. This one's gonna run over here and try and stab Moonshine. I mean, that was hit Moonshine. He did not hit Moonshine. Then he crit on Moonshine. Does minimum damage. That's <laughs> 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 so I see it do like almost zero. Okay, okay. <laughs> this is great for not sitting next to me so we got to watch that stupidity. Yeah! <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, Okay, um... If they would have done that to Rock, it would have just exploded. Yeah, pretty much. Oh. Oh. Oh, more. Good. Oh, more. Good. Okay, so no one's <laughs> doing. Yeah. Okay. Alright, that is the Tomb Guard's turn. That brings it to Pierce! <laughs> yeah, my turn. We're done. <laughs> so yeah. Okay, so I need to heal pretty much everything you just took. <laughs> so, what do you Is this just, is this just darkness? Uh, so, a sandstorm. It's a sandstorm outside of that circle. Okay. Circle-ish shape. So, they're kind of just walking through the sand. And then, yep. that, then they're appearing. Like, that's kind of when they become visible. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Fun stuff. Ah oh, shit, there's more! Why the purple? And, and then, you're, you're right there. Oh, okay. I'm gonna do the one below me. Fireball. I'm getting oh, jerk. Okay. No, and, uh, yes. Okay. I just set my dice aside. There we go. Nine, five, and six. So, that one? So, yeah. Is there any bonus damage or just one? Shit fired. Okay, so 20. Okay. So, you hit him in the face with a firebolt. Alright. Anything else? Oh, I'll just have Moonshine. Alright, uh, do you want to. Oh, yeah, you can't really get on Moonshine from where you're at? Nope. Nope. I uh, will move from under the couch. Oh yeah, you can have Moonshine just move over to you and get on him. Yeah, bring him, bring him over. Pick, okay. pick me up. <laughs> so you just like this cat on Moonshine, you know? you're like, no, this is fucking stupid. <laughs> you're like, no. Why am I under a cat? Uh, <laughs> see, that sounds gonna swing it. Yeah. <laughs> he hits you. <laughs> yeah. Oh, three damage. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that is your turn. Oh, actually, Moon, you want Moonshine to do his fire breath? Yeah, attack the same guy I hit. And he can, he, he can hide all three of them. Yeah, yeah. Okay, fuck them all up. Go for your damage, and I'll do... 
I believe it's uh, 8d6. Save. The one that shanked stabbed you a bunch of times. Saved. <laughs> I hate that guy. Yep. But the worst thing than the other guy. Yeah. Twenty-five. Okay. Higher. Yep. Boom! Mutan <laughs> to the rescue. <laughs> yeah. All right, that brings it to Rock's turn. Okay. So. You want Mutan to move it all? Yeah. Give me the fuck out of here. Um, quick question: What did we decide as far as what animals I summon? Is it just one of each, and then the other? The D3. It's your call. Whichever one you want to go with. Like, with your actual power, um, so if you want to summon all the same, you can do that, or you can summon different variations. Okay. So, um, as my action, Rock's gonna blow his magic horn. Um, that provokes. It does provoke. Okay, so provokes from the first tomb guard. Uh, does a twenty hit? Not likely. But the war sphinx will probably hit you. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and say probably yeah. That was a good roll. Um, yeah, that was a really good roll. Um, Thirty six. I'm sure that hits you. Thirty six hits, and I ignore the damage because it's okay. the first hit I've taken in the round. Okay, so it like swings around, like its tail just kind of whacks at you, and then you're like, no! Just a point. <laughs> Bad. And then for my bonus Bad, action, after I blow the horn, I'm gonna rage. No, Brat. Oh, this is Wait, no, didn't you take damage when it jumped on you? Yeah, but that's an AoE, not a direct attack at rock, right? Mm, yes, that's correct. We left it that way, right? Let me just double check more. Okay, yep, as long as we left it that way, absolutely. Yep, perfect. Yay, you know your character, because I forgot. <laughs> Alright, any movement or you stay in there? Nah, I'll stay right there. Okay. Uh, that is the end of the round. That brings it back to Kenna. Which is yeah. weird, right? <laughs> yeah, I know, right? I'm gonna stand up. <laughs> Especially because you have both Pierce and Jacobs here now, who have ridiculous. Yeah, and I'm gonna walk over here. Uh, it's not my fault. It's like sleeves. Kind of brought us here. Yeah. It's I wasn't, I wasn't Jacobs was in the middle of drinking. Yeah. I'm gonna go over here um, and assess the situation. Uh, let's see here. The only rumbling you feel is from the War Sphinx in front of you, so you don't think there's any more. Because it's. Several thousand pounds, so you feel that thing jumping around. Uh, consider my options. Let's see. Let's go here. Let's go over here. There. Let's see. Yeah, let's get rid of the minions. Uh, bonus action, I'm going to return to reality. Over here. And I'm going to use my action to shoot a, uh, I guess I would actually have to be right here, but I think I can still... Oh, I, my movement is halved, actually, because I got up. I forgot about that. I can't make it all the way over there. Sure, I'll move right over here, and uh, then I'm gonna cast uh, Sunbeam again through those three. Okay. So it's a yeah DC twenty five con save with disadvantage. No. Uh -uh. No successes. They've all okay. taken it, so they're probably gonna die. Yeah, probably. I rolled really well. <laughs> Um, yeah, that, wow, that was really good. 
If you got above 20, they're all dead. Yeah. I got 40 radiant damage, so... <laughs> yes, they're all dead. <laughs> yeah, also they're blinded. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that's um, really cast that effect. And then I'm going to... Bonus action... Um, misty Step away uh, over next to Pierce. Oh, yeah, that's a good idea. <laughs> we gather in the corner. <laughs> okay. uh, and Solus is going to go in for the attack. Um, but you literally just set those things back and can never attack you. Yeah, actually, he, he's gonna he's gonna circle in for the attack, but he, he's not gonna attack this round. He's gonna cast mirror image on himself and just like fly in front of the thing's face with all the, the like duplicate celluses, okay. uh, blowing raspberries at it. That one's good. Yep. Okay. That's all then. That's it for me. All right, Jacobs. All right, I'm going. I really want to get, I really want to get in a nice, in a nice line and shoot. Some yeah, no, I was, I was measuring over there. I was like, I oh, will give it a round. Let him, let him move in a little bit. Yeah, I mean, it, it looks like they're trying to line up in like a phalanx. All right. Uh, I'm gonna. But their vision isn't much better than yours, so. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna I'm just gonna stabby stab this guy. Okay. No, this is the guy that I shot earlier, correct? Yeah. Yep. All He's right. missing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so I'll probably move right here. Okay. And then I'm gonna pistol whip this fucker in the head. <laughs> Now I'm gonna stab the other guy with sneak attack. Okay. So what happened? What is the pistol whip? Do you, is there is like improvised or is it? Uh, yeah, technically. Just do you know, just do a normal attack roll with a gun. I'm sure you've done it enough that I'll count you proficient. Right. <laughs> I definitely I, imagine you hit enough people with your gun that. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, that's kind of how I communicate with the crew. Yeah, yeah I mean, you're you're not like a level seven adventurer. It's like I've never really done this before. I'm sure you've beaten people for many hundreds of years. <laughs> I have slapped hundreds of people with my pistol. Yes, <laughs> this, this thing is half whip. <laughs> yeah, it's got a dent. So yeah, I got a thirty-five. Yeah, <laughs> you hit. Okay. <laughs> Over double his AC. Yeah. What's what's the damage? <laughs> the D four. Um, Plus Over eight. double my space. I'd say I'd say with like it's a magical artifact gun. It's a club, so D six. All right. Plus your D6. that'd be your strength modifier. Yep. I worked the D six out of it. All right. So uh, another fourteen damage. Yeah, he's dead. Yes. <laughs> nice. <laughs> <laughs> and then. I look over this fucking poor sap. <laughs> that Running is? through. You think that fucking shield and spear are, are gonna save you? No, no. Uh, it's 30. And all the damage. Here we go. Yeah, yes, you hit him. <laughs> I know, I just gotta tell you. I know. <laughs> I, mean, I guess I could just say I hit him. Alright. Uh, I mean, if you don't roll a nat 1, I'm pretty sure you hit him. <laughs> 6, 9. Uh, 37 plus 11. Let me save you a favor. Yeah. <laughs> okay, 37 plus 11. Chop him yes. in half. He's dead. <laughs> yeah, so you, you blew him up, basically. Alright, you <laughs> one dead sons of bitches. Have at ye. <laughs> so you're having a <laughs> grand old time right now. <laughs> <eating it. laughs> Oh, Any more movement or is that it? What was that? Anything else or any more movement or bonus action or is that it? I 
suppose I could bonus action to dash. Do you really want to be someplace else? <laughs> well, just because I've already moved, and you can't. Can you split movement? Yeah, yeah you can split movement. Oh, okay. I can't. I don't remember fifth anymore. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe you should play more. <laughs> Okay. So in front of you is like a small little pillar. It like from if you're if you're down on like the the sand part, it's like up to like your shoulders. Oh. So you're, so you're like partially blocking line of sight if that's what you're going for. Well, no, not really. I'll stay there. Okay. All right. Anything else? Nope. All right. War Sphinx's turn. Let's see here. I would pathetically taunt the War Sphinx. Because I can't do it as an action. <laughs> oh, this is just so perfect. Alright. Uh, for rat? Yep. Let's do it. Get him. Uh, attack him off for Solus? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's do this. It's got plus 7 to hit. That's a 24. Okay. Rock's got a 19. That does not hit. So it's one point of damage. damage. How much? One point of piercing damage. <laughs> Get <laughs> wrecked. Woo! <laughs> it's like, yeah. <laughs> Carry the two. <laughs> one v one. All right. Solus hit him and I did. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> yep. How, you want to hit him? Like, you can hit him. Right. Uh oh. He's got an aura that we're all in. <laughs> oh, shit! <laughs> uh, so you see, like, if... You know, let me just, uh... I'm gonna share the... I forgot to share the War Speaks picture with you. Yeah, so it's, like, get perfect. Yeah, wow. Uh, How the hell did we pull that off? So, I don't know. You guys are magic. It's perfect. Yeah. So he has this little tube in his mouth that you guys can see, and... Is oh, he gonna do it? This blackish miasma of just... It's it's nasty. It's it's magical. Uh, so it's not like a standard miasma. It's actually just a purely magical effect. Um, so I need you all to make a DC or a, a Constitution saving throw. Oh boy, I'm real good at these. And a Wisdom saving throw. Uh oh, I'm better <laughs> at those. <clears throat> I got a twenty on my Con save and a twenty-three on my Wisdom. You made both. Good job. Yeah. 13 on the con. Oh, I gotta roll for skills. I got a 20 on con, 16 on whiz. Alright, one second. Did you get for the wisdom? Uh, 14. Oh yeah, you don't have any bonuses to that. <laughs> if you failed, it's wisdom. Okay. Uh, what'd you get, Jacobs? What? Here. Here. Um, what'd you get for your saving throws? Actually, an 18 is uh, 18 on con, 16 on whiz. Okay, and then rock. Rock has a 30 on his con and a six for his wisdom. <laughs> oh dear. So everyone but Kenna failed the wisdom. Good. <laughs> yep. Also, uh, yeah, still has got an 18 and, and 14. Perfect. Uh, how high up is he flying up? Uh, he would be flying at head level. This. Okay. Time. He, he's actually, but he's above it. Okay, sweet. Just as he planned. <laughs> um, so those of you that failed the con, which I don't think, I think only Pierce did, and he is immune to it, so that doesn't matter. <laughs> so you guys all take um, 27 points of necrotic damage. No. Those two failed? Those two have failed, yep. Oh, okay, so we don't take that. No, no, like, no, 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 that's, that's succeeding, sorry. Failed is 54 damage. Oh, okay. You took oh. that. Um... Give me one second. Okay, so those, <laughs> so those of you that failed the wisdom saving throw, so everyone except for Kenna, you are blinded and deafened until the start of its next turn. Fine. So you have 
disadvantage on all actions, basically. And you have disadvantage, or they have advantage on attacking you. Unless you have a version of blind sight or something. Uh, yeah, I do. I can see in the dark. I have blind sense. Dark. So if you have blind sense, you're fine. Out to your range. Seven. Sweet. Yeah, up to ten foot radius. I got it. Okay, so not from range yeah, checks. That's the thing that rogues have. That's crazy. <laughs> yep. Just get that. <laughs> kind of like, I need a multi-class. <laughs> well, um, you know, I just made the save, so I, you know, I don't need any of that stuff. Um, so that is its turn. Actually, you know, it's going to use a bonus action. And who can see? Kenna? Kenna's the only one I can see. Yeah. Yeah, so he jumps over here. No, leave me alone. Actually, you know... No, he saw Jacob's doing a lot, so he's going to jump over here. Oh, shit, bad, Kenny. You can't... So, you can't see anything. Oh, I guess you have your blind sense. You just feel this thing that's like... Tens of thousands of pounds just slam onto the ground next to you. <laughs> I still so have my... Hint, it's probably near you. I still have my glowing daylight hand, by the way. Yep. Just in case that matters. <laughs> Um, so the miasma disappears now, so it's no longer there. That's just a, I, I, I'll leave that up just so you guys know the range of it, just because I'm nice like that. Um, that brings it to, oh, the Tomb Guard's turn. Hut, 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 hut. March, march, march. Up to, up to, up to. Oh, well, they get bonuses for standing like this. Alright, so they're all gonna stab at uh, Jacob's, which has blind sense of 10 feet, so he can he doesn't get a disadvantage on any of them. Because you're basically magic. Aha! Um, I see all of you. Well, I don't. But I can defend. I'm still better than four of you. They all have <laughs> enough stand thrown in my eyes to deal so, with this. So every single one of those guys missed. Aha! <laughs> that was really embarrassing. Oh, oh my gosh. gosh. Oh, I wish um, I could see. I, 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 <laughs> I can't not do that. Um, oh god, yeah. Because I can do that. Brock, what's your AC just so I know what I'm targeting for? 25. Okay, so I... <laughs> okay, none of them hit you. These guys are not having a good day. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, they're little outmatched fighting gods. Against normal <laughs> villagers, they're great. Yeah, against, against people, they would be fine. <laughs> yeah, their, their stats are not bad at all. It's just it's hard fighting you guys. All right, uh, Pierce, you're up. Ah, boy. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I, t I tell Moonshine to float up higher so that I don't get stuck in his smog. Okay, so. And then yeah. I blindly shoot over. <laughs> <laughs> General fireball. I heard a carpet bomb. <laughs> over there for where it jumped. So. <laughs> Since I can't see, I'm only going to do Fireball, though. Okay. You have to jump. target him to be able to see him. Can you... Can you blind shot, Ben? Like, with, you have a general idea? With what, like... A Firebolt? Uh... I think you're just at disadvantage to attacks, and, like... Yeah, I'm... I'm obviously, if you don't know exactly, you could attack the wrong square. If no, yeah, playing. I mean, like, he's big enough in his landing, you guys were all there, you guys... Yeah, you, you know... Oh. You're yeah, already so it's just disadvantage, so. then. So, 11 plus 17. So, 11 plus 17. No, you do not hit him. Okay. Two! So, I get so, so Jacob, the fireball goes, like, right over your head. <laughs> I get him! Huh. Take that, yes! <laughs> I'm a fireball go over my head. Uh, so, like, uh, Pierce shot a firebolt. 
blindly at the war sphinx. Oh! <laughs> so barely missed you. Kella! Was that you? <laughs>